Are you still there? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, go ahead now. What I'm trying to say is that, yeah, what I'm trying to say is that to me, it's not like Frank's was against Ali Bongo's rule on. The problem is, to me, the population got tired of him and they decided to take everything to their hands and then take him away, take, him, take the person away from him. It's not like France was not happy with what they want to say because France, that I know, I believe that if France does not want a president, they have so many ways can take away that president or take away the president from the president. They will not use a coup to do that. That's my opinion. Us. When you call us, ladies and gentlemen, please put down the volume of your television set. If not, the volume at home will be disturbing and we cannot get you clearly. Thank you to the lady who just called us. There was another caller on the line. Would you call back and we'll take you? So, um, she thinks uh, if France want to, we, we, it's, it's, it could be possible. Look at Thomas Sankara, the other people, they were poisoned, they were killed. They just, and they use only your brother to kill you. They are not going to, they don't need a coup d'etat to do that. Don't you think so, too? Madam, you know, um, Africans are no longer the Africans we knew in 1960, when most African countries started gaining their independence. Mm -hmm. They killed Thomas Sankara, they killed um, um, Nyobe, all Nyobe, those people, they yeah. killed them they through killed poisoning, them. Some killing them, gun, arresting and them. And all that. Mm -hmm. You know, where human rights was not really that, you know. Today, Africa is not like they used to call us the dark continent, black monkeys or that, we don't have sense and all that. Today, you can no longer easily poison somebody. You know, France is, you know, as people develop, as there's development, strategies to the change. So that's what I said that after when most African countries gained their independence, France found ways to keep protecting their interests through the institutions they created in Africa. Mm -hmm. We have the ECOWAS, we have the CEMAC and all that. So these are the strategies they use to keep protecting Neo -colonialism. their interests. Now, they cannot, like, you know, poison Ali Bongo because people will know you killed him. We see that there are a lot of coup d'etats now in Africa. So that's the new strategy. We cannot like go back to poisoning. We cannot go like gunning. No, you no longer kill people like that. Human rights will be against them. So they are using the coup d'etat. That's the most easiest way. That's a new strategy. When France doesn't want you, coup d'etat. When France doesn't want you, coup d'etat. So I don't think that France has another way. That's the 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 the, the trending the, way now. That's it. The trending another way of new removing those that are not working for their interests, mm -hmm. you understand? And um, she, she also said something. She said that she does not believe that France is behind the coup d'etat mm -hmm. of Gabon. It's clear. We've been having coup d'etats. Niger, they made noise. People could not sleep. France was like he was dying. Until now, France has refused to remove the ambassador from that country. Their troops are still there. In Niger, they said they will not go. But in the case of Gabon, they are so comfortable. And it is clear with the message that um, Ali Bongo spoke in English. It is clear. He would have spoken in, in French. He would have called his compatriots in French because we know that Gabon is not a bilingual country. Mm -hmm. But he has joined the ECOWAS. One, now The Commonwealth. The Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. So he wants the people from the Commonwealth to, to protect assist him, him, to help him, to fight for him. Because they already knew that Ali Bongo was no longer um, an entity that could protect their interests in Gabon. So he has joined the ECOWA, the, the Commonwealth. He has been, you know, re-educated. Like I said, change is the only constant thing in life. Somebody who does not change is not a human being or a living thing. So he might have changed. With the attitude they have showed him in the Commonwealth, he has been rubbing shoulders with some of the president there, the English-speaking president countries that, have been, that were being colonized by the British. And he saw their ways. Perhaps he wanted a change. And then France saw that and said, no, this guy, he has gone and joined the Commonwealth. He will become a danger for us in his country. So let us remove him. And I also believe that people said they would have they would have given him time. He would have already knew that, okay, I am living, I'm old, I'm bedridden, I don't have the capacity to rule. But he's talking, his senses are still normal, okay? He has spoken there. He's not a madman. We can see the video clearly. Yeah. He spoke, make some noise, like in the R and B, like he was like in the show. Make some noise. Let's but make is, noise. Is it a show? Like With it's someone... a show. He still believed that perhaps he was still a rapper because he was a rapper. Is that, so he is said, that something make some... to? Is that not something to be worried about? No, it's not to be worried about. Like I said, it's a political strategy. Yeah. He used the English with the Commonwealth which he joined recently to tell the people to say that I'm no longer with the French. The French has vomited me, and now I am looking for backing in most um, English-speaking countries. Help me. So we need to be very careful. Like I said, the masses are so emotional. 
They are so emotional. This is politics. We are talking about politics. And politics is a dating game. It's a game of interest. So this transitional president that has been praised like a god today in Gabon will turn to be their nightmare. They should be very careful with that. I think if this guy was genuine, why not hand over power to the opposition leader, Otto Os um, Ondo Osa? Why not? The meeting, the call, they said, okay, let us reorganize the elections. Um, Ali Bongo is out of the picture. Let us organize and, you know, do an election and see who they will vote. And then you hand over power. He said, I will come back to you guys. Because he's hungry for power. Because France has given him um, the directives to say, do this and do this and you'll be fine. Don't the, you... the, the, the Ali Bongo's family were being protected by the French for a long time. Yeah. They were like, God, years. That's, that's a long, a long time. time. So they were with the French. So why today? So the same people that are praising this man today will be against him tomorrow. Let us be very careful. Um, do you 